Hello and welcome to the short tutorial on how to use the HTML5 widget inside of iBooks. If you're familiar at all with iBooks, you'll notice that you can insert galleries, media, keynotes, reviews, interactive images, 3D files, and HTML. Now the first time I tried to do this, I created an HTML file and then came over to where I have this choose button and tried to bring in a regular HTML file. Well, it didn't quite work that well. It didn't actually bring it in. And so what you have to do is actually you have to create what's called a dash code HTML file, which has the extension of WD. GT. So I'm going to go through in this tutorial on how to actually create this widget file. So the first thing you need to do is download the sample info.plist and default.png that's found in this blog post. And what it is is basically two different files. One is just an image called default.png, which you can create your own uh, default PNG file. You can take a screenshot of your HTML file and then name it default.png. The next one is the info.png. Plist. Now the info.plist has a lot of information um, about this widget that's going to happen. So it gives you what the uh, main HTML file is, index.html, um, and it gives you a lot of more information that you can change there as well. But I don't recommend changing that unless you're really familiar with it. But we're going to show you how to actually uh, create an HTML widget and then bring that inside of iBooks. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and create a folder called HTML sample. So there is my HTML sample title. And what I'm going to do is uh, right now I have nothing in it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the sample files, the default PNG and the info.plist and just by control or command C and then just command V to actually paste it inside of that folder. Well, now all I need to do is actually create my index.html file and my CSS. I need to place that all inside of this folder. Now, you can do that in many different ways, but for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use Hype, uh, which allows me to create HTML5 animations, and then I can bring those inside of iBooks Author. So, <clears throat> in this case, let's just go ahead and animate a simple box going from the left-hand side to the right-hand side um, just by inserting my box and then coming over to the keyframe recorder. I'm going to go ahead and click on record, move my, uh, my playhead over to one second, and then move this over to the bottom right-hand side. And that's pretty much it. If I want to preview it, I can just hit the preview button, and it just moves from one side to the next side. So from here, what I need to do is go ahead and export it. I can save the project file if I want, but I'm just going to go ahead and export as HTML5. And I'm going to export this into my sample folder, my HTML sample folder. Now, <clears throat> the plist, if I come over to my, my folder here, you'll notice that inside of the plist, we have something called main HTML as the key. And then right below it says index.html. This is actually telling um, iBooks author what the main HTML file is going to be. And I have it defaulted as index.html. You can change that to whatever you want. You can have that as main.html or whatever your HTML file is. But in my case, and if you just want to keep it consistent for now, you can just go ahead and name it as index.html. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now if I come back into that folder, I have my index.html file, and I also have my index underscore resources file that Hype actually produces. Now I could come back in here and I could take a screenshot of this HTML file and then rename it to default.png, but I've pretty much already done that with this, this example. So I'm just going to leave that how it is. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and hide my Hype application and come over to my HTML sample folder. Just moving that around a little bit. But now I need to rename this. Now to rename it on a Mac, you just select it, first of all, with one click, and then wait a second, and select the text again. Now you'll notice I can go ahead and type uh, whatever I want, but I don't want to rename it the actual title there. I just want to add something to it. So to add something to it, I'm going to go ahead and hit .wdgt, and what that does is it actually makes this a widget. So if I hit enter, this little message is going to pop up and ask me if I'm sure I want to add this uh, WG, WDGT to the end of it, which in this case I am sure. So I'm going to click on add. And as soon as I've done that, now over on the uh, right hand side here, you'll notice that is now the folder is changed to a dash code widget. 
Now the dash code is actually what you see in Mac when you pull up your uh, different widgets that you can use inside of your dash or inside of your dashboard. Um, but in this case, if I double clicked on it, it would try to install it to the dashboard, which I don't want to do that at this point. What I want to do is take this widget and insert it inside of iBooks Author. So coming back into iBooks Author, I'm going to go ahead and insert a widget, come down to HTML, and I can place this HTML file wherever I want and resize it as well. So I'm going to resize it to take up uh, one of these columns here. And <clears throat> If I don't have the inspector open, go ahead and select this blue icon. And then once the inspector is open, with your HTML5 widget open, I'm going to come over to the, the far right hand side and select, make sure that tab is selected. Uh, make sure interaction is selected as well. And then click on this choose icon. The choose icon will allow me to find the widget, which in this case is on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and select HTML5 sample widget and then click insert. You'll notice that image is now changed to my default.png. If I was to go ahead and preview this on my iPad, now I can flick it to actually open it and it would play the animation or I can tap on it to play the animation as well. So that is how you get your HTML files or HTML5 files, um, convert them to a widget for iBooks Author and then insert them inside of iBooks Author.